Hello everyone, I'm Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a set of objects in Inkscape and then try to arrange them in the form of a grid. So let's begin by creating simple objects like a square. So I'm going to create six squares by pressing the control key and duplicating these squares control D drag control D drag. So I'm creating these squares and I'm placing them at random locations in the image or in the document. What I want to do is I want to arrange these six squares in the form of a grid. Let's say let's make a grid of three rows and two columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these uh, all of these objects, these six squares in our case. I'm going to go to objects, rows and columns, and I'm going to specify the number of rows and number of columns that I want to arrange them into. So if you notice that the number of uh, pixels, the spacing between each of the objects over here uh, is defaulted to a constant value, which in uh, this case is 15 pixels. If you want them to be uh, so differently spaced, then you can simply specify the value over here. Right now I want them to be evenly spaced, so I'm just going to click on Arrange. And you see, uh, all the objects have been arranged in a form of a grid, a neat grid, a very neat grid. Another important feature that, that I want to show you is if you if you click on fit into selection box, what Inkscape tries to do is it tries to align all the objects with the border of the selection box, which in our case is a uh, is an invisible invisible border, but it's at the edges of the boxes which are placed at the extreme uh, extremes of uh, the selection. So now if you press on arrange, the spacing is going to be different but it is still going to be in the form of a grid. Now where this can be useful is uh, let's say you have a set of images or a set of icons and you want to take a print out of it or you want to just duplicate the icon and you know just print it out on a, f on a sheet of paper number of copies of it. So this technique could be pretty useful you can just duplicate it arrange them randomly on on the on the document any way you want and just use this tool quickly arrange them in the form of a grid and just take a print out so it hardly takes 10 seconds to do it and it's pretty easy well that was all that i wanted to tell you in this video and thanks for watching